Hey there, and welcome back to the Transformers The Game 2.0 mod! As you recall, in the last episode, we faced the original Ultimate Doom with the Ultimate Weapon, and now, we are coming back to the Autobot campaign for one last video to revisit the campaign and cover some of the stuff we missed. Now, some of the stuff I'm going to be covering I may have already shown you, but I'm just going to run through it again for consistency's sake. But for the most part, it should be all stuff that I flat out missed. We are going to be starting at the suburbs, and we'll go from there. And when we're all done, I will summarize my thoughts on this campaign as a whole. So, you ready? Let's get to it! Starting off at A1 Chapter 2, we have a restored line that can be heard should the Decepticons get too close to the used car lot. Hurry! They must not reach the used car lot. And moving forward to A2 Chapter 3, we also have some restored voice lines that can be heard should Barricade get too close to the beacon. After him, we mustn't let the Decepticons reach Sam. Hurry, Barricade has almost found Sam. Head for the beacon. Jumping ahead to A2 Chapter 1, we have a couple of bonus checkpoints that you can hit, each one accompanied by a unique camera angle. The first checkpoint can be found right in front of the baseball field. I've got him on my tail, Optimus! And the second can be found through an alley that you have to clear by destroying the explosive barrels blocking the way. I knew this would be easy, but these guys ain't even trying. See, little touches like this just boost this mod up for me even more. Moving on to A2 Chapter 2, Ratchet we found to the left outside the battlefield. I don't think I showed him directly while I was playing, but I thought his presence was fairly obvious. Nonetheless, I wanted to show him all the same. Which, <laughs> fun fact, you could pick him up and toss him to the moon. Or at least, uh, try to. <laughs> Moving on to A2 Chapter 3, this is one that you probably all know of, but Ironhide can be found in front of the Metroplex. Now, he doesn't really do anything, he just sort of runs around in a circle. But, there is another easter egg here that I completely missed, and it's not too far ahead. After you jump over the police station, take a right towards the housing estate. You will find Jazz and Ratchet. Stay on it, Prime. And, a fun fact, you can actually kill Jazz! Don't let it get away! And fail the mission! Not many of you knew that, did ya? And closing off A2 with Chapter 4, Ratchet can also be found again at the baseball field. If you get close to him, he will transform to robot mode and heal you. Though, once Shockwave leaves, he will turn back to vehicle shortly after. Thus abandoning you to your grim fate. Moving on to A3 Chapter 1. If you fail and let the security drones reach the alarm, you will get a bonus line from Optimus and an alarm blaring. We'll need to find another way. Both subtle, but neat additions. Moving ahead to A3 Chapter 2, there is another bonus line from Optimus should you take too long in going after the next cooling fan. Destroy the cooling fans. And closing off the level with Chapter 4, there is a bonus line from Optimus should you take too long in destroying the clamps on the Allspark. Shoot the box to release the Allspark. And, if you wait around even longer than that, you will automatically fail because Megatron will kill you, giving you an unused cutscene.
Jumping ahead to A5 Chapter 1, you will find Ratchet at the back of the map. I know that's probably completely redundant to point out, but I just want to, okay? Ratchet can also be found several times in Chapter 3. During the first phase, he can be found on top of this building, where he is evidently getting a tan. Kind of odd for a medic, but okay. In the second zone, he can be found between two buildings. And in the third phase, he can be found at the upper train track. I'm sure you've seen both of these from my original playthrough, but, you know, I'm mentioning it. Deal with it. Jumping to the end in A5 Chapter 4, Ratchet can again be found at the rear of the battle zone, at the side of that small little square building at the back. And closing off at the end of Chapter 4, you actually have an additional option to take Barricade down. If you pursue him aggressively and force him out of vehicle mode, you won't have to go to the main beacon. You can just fight him right where you are. Nothing super significant or anything like that, but still, a welcome addition. And this is one I know I covered in another video, but one that I missed in my original run-through. And that is, in the Ultimate Doom, if you head toward the Central Park, you will find the remaining Autobots. Bumblebee, Ratchet, and Ironhide. With Bumblebee looking crazy drunk. It's a neat little easter egg that I really appreciate because when do you ever get to see a whole group of bots together in this game? Answer, never. So this was a really cool addition. All right, and there we have a final wrap up of the Autobot campaign for the Transformers The Game 2.0 mod. That is officially a wrap. <sighs> Okay, well, I guess I'll just sum up my thoughts then. Going through some of the stuff that I've missed definitely improved some of my opinions on the mod itself, because I would personally say that my least favorite level in the mod was Tranquility 2, and that Jazz Edition just boosted it up for me. Though I do think the submissions for that level were really good, and my favorite level would probably either be the suburbs, or Inside Hoover Dam. Might just be leaning toward Inside Hoover Dam just a bit more. I'm not sure. I mean, the first level in the suburbs really hits you. It just grabs your attention for the rest of the mod. But at the same time, Inside Hoover Dam really upped up the challenge, and I loved that. Especially that first chapter. That was a great chapter. I don't think any of the levels were flat out terrible. I do think Tranquility 2 campaign-wise felt the weakest to me, but nothing that was flat out awful, you know? Just wasn't as good as some of the rest of it, that's what I mean. There's only one bit of core criticism that I have. Just one. And that is, personally, I think there are a couple areas in this mod where story should have been abandoned in place of gameplay. And there's two instances that come to mind. First, I would have liked the option of playing as Bumblebee back at the suburbs after I finished the level instead of being confined to 07 Bumblebee. I understand the point story-wise, but I just really think that is a case where gameplay should have superseded that. But just for the sake of gameplay, I would have liked that option. And for the second part of that, I did feel Shockwave should have been used in the submissions. I think he felt very underused in that level, and I think it would have been great gameplay-wise to have him included in the submissions. I get it, story-wise, he's in the Central Park, but I really would have liked him to be present in the submissions. Again, none of these really ruin the mod at all, 
They're just little additions that I think would improve the mod quite substantially. But that, honestly, is really the only core criticism I have for this mod. So that's a credit to how good it is. But yeah, I just think there are some cases where gameplay should have overwritten story. But that's just me. But yeah, overall, I don't really have any complaints. It, this mod has revitalized so much that there's really nothing bad about it. Honestly, you will probably never look at the original campaign the same way again, because this has surpassed it so much. Now you're gonna look back on the original game and think, This sucks! But yeah, that is it for the Autobot campaign. I will, however, be going back for one last video for the Decepticon campaign. So again, cover some of the stuff I missed and summarize my thoughts on that particular campaign. Because there's some pretty interesting bits there compared to what the Autobots had. So we'll cover that next week and then we'll be pretty much done with the 2.0 mod. With the exception of one more thing. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Alright, that'll do it for this episode. I will see you next week for the final campaign video for the 2.0 mod. Till then, you are not a bot.